It's time again for the Science Bowl. Zoo Parade for Five. What big teeth the hippo has are actually a pair of these. Science Potpourri for Ten. Would a snake most likely eat every day? Every week, Dateline Science for Ten. Why are some elephants wearing necklaces these days? Green things for 15. And now, here's your host, Mr. Z himself, Dave Zarin. Thank you and welcome to a special edition of Science Bowl. The two teams you're about to meet are here today to defy for the chance to move on to our semifinals and finals in the elementary school competition. Who will be the second of our final four? Let's meet them right now. First from University Park Elementary School, please welcome Chloe Whitman, James Dawson, and Liam Roy. And from Montpelier Elementary, please say hello to Katie Godshall. Harris Chaudhry and Allison Demick. Now here are the categories of questions we use on the Science Bowl. Okay, Mr. Z, here's today's categories. Green Things, questions about plants and all things green and growing. Zoo Parade, a Noah's Ark of questions about animals. Body Systems, we'll see how much you know about yourself, about things like breathing and growing and digesting your food. Let's get physical. Questions that test your knowledge of physics and chemistry, earth science and space science. Then there's science potpourri. Here's a grab bag of science questions. Everything from air pollution to the kitchen zinc. And finally, Dateline Science. We'll ask you about science history and science in the news. Here on the Science Bowl, our game board reflects question difficulty with easier questions on the left worth 5 and 10, the tougher ones worth 15, 20, and ultimately 25. Both teams start out at 50 points, no penalties ever for incorrect answers, and at the end of the two rounds, we will have the second of our final four. We started with 40 elementary schools back in September. We're almost down to the last competitors. Let's find out if everything's working properly. James, would you try your buzzer? Thank you. Good luck to you and to Liam and to Chloe. And Harris, would you try yours, please? Thank you. Good luck to you, to Allison and to Katie and to the little uh, kennel of dogs you got over there, too. All right. We start out with uh, 50 points apiece. No penalties, as we were saying. Uh, let's uh, look at the... Um, we go alphabetically here to determine who goes first. So Montpelier with an M. Would you start the bowl, please? Harris? Green things for 10. Green things for 10 points to start our game. Teams, these plants, if there are a lot of them in your aquarium, the aquarium will be very turbid. Montpelier. Algae. Algae, yeah. Turbidity or cloudity increases as the number of algae increases inside that tank. Good. Go. Green. Zoo parade for five. Zoo parade for five points. Teams, even though its name is the same name as one of the seven deadly sins... University Park. Yes, sir? The lion. The lion? Not the lion, no. Montpelier, even though its name is the same as that of one of the seven deadly sins, don't hold it against this poor mammal that hangs upside down and moves very slowly. It's just the way it works. Sloth? A sloth, yeah. All right, good. Green, please. Body systems for five? Body systems for five points. Teams, we don't normally think of our eyeball as wearing clothes. But if you can see a planet without, Harris? With a naked eye. A naked eye, that's right, without a binocular or a telescope. Good, you, you followed my question perfectly. Go green. Green things for five? Green things for five points. Teams, Mythbusters recently uphold, upheld what people have long believed, that a rolling stone gathers none of this green thing, moss. Montpelier. Moss. Moss. It does not gather any moss. They tried. It, it just would not do it. Good. Again, green. Let's get physical. Let's get physical for five. Get physical for five points. Teams. After the recent snowstorms and all of the treatment of our roads, the entire city of Washington glistened with crystals of sodium chloride and magnesium chloride. Salt, salt, University salt, Park? Salt, salt. Salt, yeah, it looked like the bottom of the ocean and it had all dried up. Exactly right. You couldn't brush against anything without coming away with some salt. Red. 
Dateline sign for 10 points, please. Dateline for 10 points. Teams, the Smithsonian Museum will send you instructions on how to program a 3D printer to make a copy of the flyer that these brothers flew in Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. Right brothers. Right brothers. The right James? brothers? Yeah. The right brothers? The right brothers, indeed. Good. Also, you can make a replica of the woolly mammoth that is down there with a 3D printer. All right, Red, go. Science for brief. Science Popery for 10 points, please. Popery for 10 points. Teams, in his State of the Union address, President Obama says maybe in the future, the near future, we can stop filling our tanks with gasoline and rather put in a mixture of ethane and propane and butane that is all together called this. Methanol. University Park. Methanol. Methanol. Not methanol. Good try. Ethane and propane and butane, these are all known as what? As an alternative to gasoline. What do you think, Harris? It's natural gas. Natural gas. Try again, Red. You're 10 points down, James. Physical for 10. Let's get physical for 10 points, please. Get physical for 10 points. Teams, speaking of myth busters, they did bust the myth that if you swallow menthos candies and drink a can of Diet Coke, University Park. It will fizz up. It will fizz up. Fizz up and cause a chemical reaction. Mm, no, no. Good try. You're right. As James helped you just say, yes, you will get a chemical reaction if you swallow menthos candies and drink a can of Diet Coke. They busted the myth that your stomach will explode when enough of this gas is produced. Carbon dioxide? Carbon dioxide, absolutely right. That does not happen inside the body, but it does outside. Green, go. Zoo parade for 10. Zoo parade for 10 points. Teams, your question is as follows. It's a visual question. Look at the monitor, if you would. Teams, if you ever watch NFL games on the sideline, a lot of people are holding up parabolic dishes. The parabolically shaped radar, face. Radar, radar. James? Radar, radar, radar. Radar? Not radar, no. Montpelier, this parabolically shaped face on this barn owl does the same thing that those dishes do. It's trying to pick up what? Sound? Sound, yes indeed, and good. Go, green. Body systems for 10. Body systems for 10 points. Teams, this is a multiple choice question. If you go to the doctor and he uses a laser on you to destroy follicles, is he trying to whiten your teeth, treat your athlete's foot, or remove a mustache? Montpelier? Remove a mustache. Remove a mustache? Remove a mustache, yes, follicles, hair. Katie picked up on those clues. Go green. Zoo parade for... Yes, sir? Zoo parade for 15. Zoo parade for 15 points. Teams, we human beings have two sets of teeth in our lifetime. Elephants have six. Most of those teeth are these kind of teeth because... Yes, oh, University oh, Park. Molars. molars. Molars, yes, because they're herbivorous and they've got to grind down all of that vegetation they eat every day. Boy, that was a quick round. We come to the end of the first round. Let's check that score. University Park 80, Montpelier 105. Lots of science balls straight ahead. We'll be right back. Going to school pregnant, riding the bus. That was hard. You just have all the stares and you have all the questions and even little kids make you nervous just staring at you. When you get pregnant, all the stuff just goes through your mind. Abortion, adoption, keeping him. You're his mom. You're supposed to be the one taking care of him and raising him. But when you're 15 and pregnant, you can't do it without support. I wanted to give him a better life. When I found out I was pregnant, I don't know, just a light hit me in my heart just saying, adoption, what you need to do. I really have a simple dream. I just want to get my nursing career, get married, and have a family. When I get pregnant again, give them a better life. I'm Miranda, and I chose adoption. What if you could unleash your child's creativity while preparing them for a successful future? What if you could ignite your child's love of learning with one after-school program? What if that one program was easy and fun and taught critical thinking, teamwork, and communication? Destination Imagination is the one. Destination Imagination has been teaching kids teamwork, creativity, and problem solving for more than 25 years. Our students report increased ability to excel at school. 
Teachers report better attention and participation in our students. A major university study has documented how our students are ahead of others in creativity and innovation, skills that employers want and our future needs. To learn more about Destination Imagination, go to www.startateam.org and make Destination Imagination the one for you. Welcome back to Science Ball. Thank you for being here today. If you didn't see these young people the first time or the second time they were on the show, let's introduce them to you now. They are all wonderful players, exceptional science students, and we are so happy to have them here on our set today. Let's go to University Park with a storied history, many Science Bowl championships, the winningest elementary school in Science Bowl's 28-year history. Nice to have you here with your matching shirts there with your names on the back and the science ball team on the front there. James, who made those shirts for you? Mr. Favero. Mr. Favero, yes. The, the wonderful Mr. Favero who has been a great sponsor of the University Park Science Bowl team for many, many years and we appreciate all that he does. And I know you had some alternates on your team, James. Who are they? Gabriella Holzer, Margo Mutzuk, and Orla Collins. That's wonderful. And uh, they're in the wings out there and we'll bring them up with Mr. Favero when the uh, when our game is over. James, tell me about University Park. Who's your, who's your principal? Ms. Schickner. Ms. Schickner. And uh, it's possible she may be joining us today as well. We'll look for her. Tell me about University Park. Uh, I remember being at your school on Read Across America Day and you had green eggs and ham for breakfast. Do you still do that? Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, well, it, it, was, it was a great day. Tell me what you do in your spare time, James. Uh, I like to swim and I like to read. Yeah, and you swim at the University of Maryland's Great pool out there. And you like to read what kind of books? Uh, action and adventure. Action and adventure, yeah, I'm with you on that. Liam, nice to have you with us, a young man who plays the violin and has played the violin for three years. Have you, have you always been musically talented? I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think you would have attempted a violin unless you had that uh, point taken there, Liam. What else do you do in your spare time if you're not playing the violin? I like to read and draw. And draw. What do you draw? Random things. Random things. Wonderful. How would you prepare for today's program? Well, uh, we practiced a lot during school hours on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. Wow, that's pretty intense. I'm watching old programs so you get an idea of the kinds of questions, the style of questions we use here, playing a nice game. And Chloe, you know an awful lot about science. How's that? What, what have you done? Well, um, my teachers are all very nice and engaging and Mr. Carter was my fifth grade teacher. He was very enthusiastic. Mm. He helped me learn a lot about science and so did Mr. Favero this year. Wonderful. You mentioned something very important there, enthusiasm. If you're enthused about something and you can't wait to share it, uh, people will pay attention. Bring a yeah. sense of urgency to what you do. Uh, what do you hope to do someday? I would like to be a botanist or a geologist. Or a geologist. Now we talked about your garden and you grow uh, things that you can eat and some decorative things. What about geology? How would you get interested in geology? Well, it's really interesting for me to see how um, what's actually inside of our Earth and what we're standing on. Also, also I like I like rocks a yeah. lot. Yeah. Yeah. Have you been Great. to the Grand Canyon ever? I have not. That's something because you can see the the slice of the Earth going back millions of years. You got to see that sometime. Nice to have you back. Montpelier, you guys are playing a great game. Uh, tell me about Montpelier. Who's your principal, Harris? Perhaps principal Furlow. Miss Furlow and. Uh, uh, Bella Klamage is your wonderful sponsor. You know, she and Mr. Favero Berth have just been so devoted to Science Bowl for so many years, and all of their expertise shows in you because they bring you here so well prepared. Tell me, how often did you practice, Harris? Well, we practice every Tuesdays, and we watch old Science Bowl videos, and we ask each other questions on current news. That's, that's, you did all the right things, and it's showing off. It's showing up here today. Uh, what's what's a great thing about Montpelier? Well, they try to make everything fun, and they give us a lot of free time to be on our own mm -hmm. and experience everything. Free time, boy, that's that's an important thing. You can't always be pressured. Pressured. You have to have time to reflect and and kind of let things sink in. That's that's a very good point. What do you want to do someday, Harris? Well, I want to be an astronaut and discover new parts of the last frontier. Yeah, uh, the last frontier. At one time it was the moon and now it's Mars and uh, future generations. You know, the entire solar system. The only problem is we are not adapted to live. 
in zero G, you know, shr uh, shrinking eyeballs and demineralizing bones. We're going to have to figure that out sometime. Before I leave you, any alternates on your team? Our only alternate is Disomi Oki. Wonderful. You're a great captain. Nice to have you back. Allison, nice to have you with us here. Tell us about the dogs there, the mascots. Um, well, Monty, well, well, there's Monty 3, Monty 4, and Monty 5. Um, we brought them with us because we think that they might be lucky, yeah. and yeah. Who owns the dogs? Is there one for each, or is that, are that the property of the school? Well, these two are property of the school. This one my brother let me borrow because <laughs> he's really nice. <laughs> That's nice. Uh, uh, good brother-sister relationship there. Mm -hmm. Tell me uh, about your goal of being an author. What kind of books would you like to write? Uh, fiction. I really like letting my creative brain just go and... Um, I just write stuff and makes up characters and gives them personalities. It just happens in my head. Yeah, that's, the way, that's what writers do, you know, and it just somehow unfolds on this computer screen or on the pad. And uh, uh, your job is to take us on a journey that read that book. I'm sure you're going to be successful. Katie, good to have you with us. You want to be a teacher and you want to be a science teacher. Yes. Would you like to teach elementary school or high school, or haven't you thought that far? Um, I've thought that far, and I'm thinking elementary school. Very good. Well, you've got young people like yourself, and you can make such an impression as Ms. Klamage has done and some of your other teachers and uh, set students up for life. So it's a big responsibility, but it's a great, it's great fun, too. Let's get back to our game. Montpelier has 105. University Park 80 and lots of points to give away. Start us out, please. Harris. Science potpourri for five. Science potpourri for five points. Teams, the Defense Department says the tanks may soon be obsolete because we are using more and more of these pilotless planes in combat, Jones. James. Drones. Drones, yeah. Okay, go. Green things, 15. Green things for 15. Green things for 15 points. Green things for 15 points. Teams, what same B initial term describes the huge populations of red algae that give the Red Sea its color and... Describe the opening of a flower. Montpelier. Bloom. Bloom, absolutely right. I can see the light bulb go above Allison's head. She got it. Be initialed. Go. Green. Let's turn the light out, please, at the green team. Harris. Dateline signs for five. Dateline for five points, team. Sad news out of Mexico. These butterflies are disappearing faster and faster, <laughs> University Park. Monarch. The monarchs, yeah, they overwinter in Mexico. And it just seems that habitat destruction, the elimination of milkweed is causing their population to crash. Red? Physical. Let's get physical for 15 points, please. Let's get physical for 15 points. NASA scientists now think that Mars once had water, and they speculate that the pH of the water was about 6, which would make it slightly uh, University basic, Park. Basic. basic. Not basic, no. Uh, pH of six would make it ba slightly what? Acidic. Acidic, yes, and good. Uh, good comeback. Go. R uh, green. Science potpourri for 15. Science potpourri for 15 points, teams. Scientists using mice in a recent experiment were able to take adult cells and convert them back into what? Undifferentiated cells. Montpelier. Um. Yes, sir? Child, What's your answer? Childhood cells? Not childhood cells, no. They took adult cells in these mice and they were able to convert them into what kind of undifferentiated cells? Um, Pastor Liam? Liam? Fetus? No, uh, we were looking for stem cells or embryonic cells. Go again, green. Dateline signs for 15. Dateline for 15 points. Teams, the norovirus recently caused a lot of cruise ship passengers to get sick, but it was a bacterium spread by rat fleas that cause millions of people in Europe in the Middle Ages to die from bubonic what? Plague. University Park. Plague. Plague, yes, indeed. And plague is coming back. And we're very concerned about it because so many of our antibiotics do not work today. James? Green things for 20. Green things, 20 points. Teams, multiple choice question for you. Mimosa, which is the sensitive plant, is neat because if you touch it, it immediately folds up, all of its leaves fold up. Is that because of respiration, thigmotropism, or osmosis that causes osmosis, that osmosis. to happen? Osmosis? Osmosis, yeah. It's a redistribution, a quick redistribution of water in the leaves. Okay, 125, 135, almost a dead heat. 
all of the questions save for green things for 20. And a reminder, also, we still have body systems for 15, which is available. Montpelier, uh, excuse me, James. Let's get physical for 20 points. Let's get physical for 20. Teams, your question is as follows. A light year is the distance that light travels in one year in what airless space? <laughs> University a Park. A vacuum. A vacuum. A vacuum, yes, good, go. Uh, Dateline signs for 20 points, please. Dateline signs for 20. Look at the monitor. Visual question, please. Long before today's iPhones and Samsungs and Androids, it was this man who came up. Oh, phonograph. University Park? A phonograph? No, not a phonograph. This man here invented the first telephone before all of the more modern ones. Who is he? Alexander Graham Bell. That would be he, indeed. That is Mr. Bell himself. Go green. Body system for 15. Body systems for 15 points. Teams, your question is as follows. Because these two parts of your body move with ball and socket joints. <laughs> University <laughs> Park. Shoulder and, and your knees. No, 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 your hips. Your, your hips. Yes, sir? Your, your arms and your legs. Uh, pass to Chloe. Chloe. Um, your shoulders have a, a ball and um, socket. And, and your legs connect. Which More. is ball and socket. Your hips. Your hips. Your, your hips, hips, absolutely right. Your shoulders and your hips easily dislocated because of those ball and socket joints. Good teamwork over there. Go. Red. Signs potpourri for 20 points, please. Potpourri for 20 points. Teams, the woman who was spray painted with gold paint in the movie Goldfinger and died from skin asphyxiation was all a myth because we human beings don't breathe through our skin like what animals do. Fox, University fox. parks. Frogs. Amphibians. More information. Amphibians. Amphibians. Amphibians? Amphibians, indeed. Good. Go. Uh, green things for 25. Green things for 25. Green things for 25 points. Green things for 25 points. Teams, even though we think termites eat wood, they don't really. They have little parasites, little organisms in their gut that help to digest this C-initial carbohydrate. University Park. Yes, sir? Cedar? Not cedar, no. Montpelier, these tiny little organisms in the gut of the termite makes it possible for the termite to eat the wood because they can break down this c initial carbohydrate that is found in the cell walls of all plants. So think? Cellulose was the right answer. Go red. Um, Dateline signs for 25 points, please. Dateline for 25 points seems it was back in 1986 that physicist Richard Feynman sat before Congress with a rubber O-ring and said, when this thing froze, it caused that space shuttle to explode. What space shuttle was it, Montpelier, for 25 points? Challenger? Challenger, yes, indeed. Good. Green. Zoo prayed for 20. Zoo prayed for 20 points. Teams, the Seattle Seahawks. The Atlanta Falcons, the Philadelphia Eagles are all named for. Birds of prey. Give me another name. For birds Raptors. of prey. Raptors. Raptors. That's what I want to hear. Good. Green. Go. Turn the light out, please, for green. Body systems for 20. Body systems for 20 points. Teams, probiotics that they advertise on television, all those good bacteria in yogurt, are good for what two body systems? With two body systems, your, University no, Park. No, no, your, your digestive system and your endocrine system. Your endocrine system and your digestive system. Good try, good try, James. What two body systems benefit most from probiotics with that rich bacterial culture in yogurt? Cell skeletal system. Nope. Digestive and immune system. Digestive and immune. Turn the red light on, please, and we'll go back to Harris to choose. Zoo prayed for 25. Zoo prayed for 25 points. Teams, grasshoppers do not go through complete metamorphosis. They don't have larvae. They don't have pupae. They have increasingly larger little individuals that look like adults. What N initial stage do they belong to? Nymphs. University Nymphs. Park. Nymphs. Nymphs is right. Yes, good. Red. Uh, uh, Science potpourri for 25 points, please. Potpourri for 25 points, teams. In the Olympics, they get gold medals and silver medals. Those are pure chemical elements. But the bronze medal is an alloy of two chemical elements. Copper, University copper, Park. Steel, 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 steel. Copper and steel and iron. Copper and iron. No, good try, good try. Montpelier, 
Bronze is an alloy of two chemical elements with the symbols Cu and Sn. Tin and copper? Tin and copper. You got it. Go green. Let's get physical for 25. Let's get physical for 25 points, teams. It was the French scientist Lavoisier who first came up with a modern listing of elements, replacing the <laughs> University Park. The periodic table? Not the periodic table. Lavoisier's elements replaced what four ancient elements that people believed everything was made of. Fire, water, earth, and air. You got them all. Last question of the game. Body systems for 25 points is as follows. Teams, those heart-rending pictures of young people that look like they have terrible split lips actually have a cleft version of this P initial term that is the roof of your mouth. They suffer from a cleft what? Montpelier. Yes, sir. We don't know. Don't know. Any idea? Cleft what? The upper part, the roof of your mouth, James. The palate. Um, past the close. Chloe. The palate. Cleft palate. Absolutely right. And with that, we come to the end of our game. It looks like Montpelier has done it. We will be back with a wrap-up in just a moment. Don't you go away. Simple moments are what make every day count. I'm Gary Sinise. I've had the great privilege of meeting and working with many of our country's heroes, our veterans, and heard their stories. But for the 58,272 names on the Vietnam Wall, their stories will never be shared. Help us change that. The Education Center at the Wall will put faces to the names, displaying photos, letters, and mementos of those who served, so their stories will never be forgotten. Visit buildthecenter.org and help us build it. Welcome back. What a game. The lead went back and forth and back and forth. That just shows what wonderful young people we have. They are winners all, and they've been congratulating each other. They're great sportsmen as well as being great young people, and we're especially proud of that. Our final tally today is University Park 230, Montpelier 250. Look at the smiles over there, Katie and Harris and Allison. I think the dogs are smiling too. Just so many congratulations to you, and Bella, congratulations. You are the second of our four or finalists, maybe a repeat of your 2009 championship. We wish you luck. University Park, you guys, you never gave up. You played a great game. Nothing can take away from your winning tradition, winning a school in Science Bowl history. Liam and James and Chloe. And look at all the alternates back there. Wave Margo and Gabby and Orla and Mr. Favero. Thank you for all you're doing for those great shirts. And Ms. Schichter, their principal is here, a great principal. I know of none better. You got to get her one of those shirts, Jeff. Thank you for being here, everybody. We'll see you next time on Science Bowl. Bye-bye.